Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a whole house reset. It is jam packed, full of tidying, cleaning, organizing. I've got some painting, DIY in there, a new hallway reveal, which is so exciting. If you're planning on sitting down and watching this video, then grab yourself a snack and a nice drink. And if you've got me on in the background, make sure you've got a massive pile of washing or some other job to do because it's gonna be a long one and I really, really hope you enjoy it. Starting off in my bedroom, as you can see, there was just mess everywhere. On this day, I actually had a meeting to go to, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a bit, but I had a meeting to go to, so I wanted to just get as done as much done as possible. I wasn't really expecting to get loads done, but I just needed to start with an initial tidy, get the bed sorted and just dust and just get everything to like an, what's the word, like a surface level of clean so that my brain feels better. so much junk shoved down in that corner that you just saw down the sides of my wardrobe down the sides of the chest of drawers like just so much like random stuff so I pulled it all out and to be honest half of it I had to throw away because it was like broken stuff that I don't really know why I shoved it away but um some of it had to actually get thrown away a couple of things to donate 
and then a few things that I just found a new home for but there was just so much random stuff stuff like this it honestly just makes me feel so much clearer in my head when I organize it all by the way if you were wondering why I have a giant red waistband it's because I had a pair of leggings on under my trousers because I'm always freezing cold just in case you were wondering about that. So I was going to talk to you about the meeting that I had. I am basically starting a new job soon, which is really exciting. I'm not going to talk about it too much on my YouTube channel, just because I like to keep my YouTube kind of about me and my family a little bit, but mostly me and organising and decluttering and decorating and slow living, yummy food, just like things that I like and things that make me happy. Um, but my my unemployed stay at home mum era will soon be over which I've had the best three months with my little girl it's honestly been incredible and I don't fully know when I will be starting my new job I don't know if it will be in December or if it will be in the new year either way I don't mind I'm very excited for my new chapter but that's what my meeting was about so I just wanted to update you on that I can't believe I just talked about going into the new year like it's so soon how crazy another year's passes by I say this all the time but I honestly think adult life is 80% wondering where the time went <laughs> like you're just constantly like god hasn't this month flown by hasn't this year flown by like it's just constant and obviously I always talk about how much I love the burr months but November is where I'm like whoa okay slow down like loved September loved October had a great time happy autumn well like I loved autumn but then I'm like oh autumn's over time for Christmas so excited. obviously it's autumn until like the 21st of December but because Christmas comes in you kind of think it's winter even though it's not anyway so like I'm like all excited for Christmas but then I'm like slow down like I need November to go as slowly as possible I don't want it to hurry up I need it to go slow because for me personally I always see November as the prep month for December like I know most people kind of do all their Christmas shopping and Christmas wrapping and decorating and everything in December. But for me, I want to enjoy December. I want to relax in December. I don't want to be putting in any work in in December. So November for me is like, buy all your presents, get everything ready, decorate. Like if it was up to me, my house would be decorated for Christmas already. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. I was about to say, unfortunately, I live with somebody. That's not unfortunate. I absolutely love living with my boyfriend. He is wonderful and I love living with him. But unfortunately for me, he's very much like a December, like doesn't really want to acknowledge Christmas until December. He is with me, which is probably quite difficult. In fact, I know it's quite difficult for him because I am intense. I'm like, can I have a Christmas list? Can I have a Christmas list? And he just can't bear to think about it. And also, I would love to be decorating for Christmas, like, right now, but no, no. Um, but I am, I kind of, like, compromise and convince him to kind of, like, the last week or so of November is when I get to decorate, because I want to wake up on December the 1st in a beautifully decorated house. Like, that's how I want my December the 1st Christmas breakfast to start. Do you know what I mean? Like, in, in the decorations. Anyway, I can't even remember why I'm talking about this. Oh, yeah, because I want November to go slowly. Like, I, I'm enjoying November... I, I'm loving November in fact like it's just it's a lovely time it's a special time of year and I want it to go slowly anyway so I'd kind of finished like sorting out all the junk and resetting in my room so I popped into Laylee's room to just kind of reset it in there do a little bit of tidying and get it to a good level before I have my meeting hey at least I'm breathing I know it took a while Been looking for a sweet song A sign of spring Waiting for a reason to laugh, to sing Spending all my time to figure out just how I've been spending way too many thoughts on what went wrong But what goes up must come down Is what goes up Finally my 
This used to have our toothpaste in it and also hold our toothbrushes, but I realise that's actually quite unhygienic. So I just cleaned it out and then I'm still going to use it to keep the toothbrushes in because I think that part is really hygienic. I like having them like closed, like the toothbrush heads like closed behind the little door, but not the toothpaste in it. The toothpaste is now in the drawer. Anyway, so boring. But then I had my meeting and I came back in and I just changed the cat litter. Then went back in the kitchen, did even more washing up because the washing up just piles up all day. I'm constantly washing up. I've actually got cracked in the bits between my fingers. I think it's called the webbing, but the word webbing literally makes me feel sick, like uh, webbing. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, my fingers are cracked because I wash up that much and I'm always cleaning and I love bleach. So anyway, uh, clean the sides and just started on dinner for that evening. Now a different day and I'm moving on to resetting downstairs. These folders were really annoying me because the the white labels went yellow and I wanted to redo them but when I took them off they ripped the paper so anyway it just was really annoying me so I thought I'd quickly redo all of my labels. My label maker from Amazon I love it so much it's cutie spelt with a q q i t i e and it's just great i also have the old school dymo label maker which is basically where you emboss on the black but that's more for aesthetic and these labels are not aesthetic they are for function they have a purpose i need to know what is in each box this kind of thing i find so relaxing like i love to just sit and play with my label maker and just enjoy it so this was really fun so i did all of this rearranged these shelves just made them look a lot neater and cleaner and then kind of did some tidying downstairs and basically reset the living room and the playroom
nothing but you so see through Something just ain't right for you Yeah, yeah, yeah. can I do it like I Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help Yeah, you, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you, you never leave my thoughts alone. Yeah, you, you're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. Sleepless Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave Boy, you're my weakness Giving we take The love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain Holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But to work on you yeah. Okay, so the reason you've just been watching me painting my upstairs hallway is because I really wanted to do like a reveal of a hallway project starting downstairs and also going upstairs as well. So if you've been around for a while then you probably know, but if you don't I'm gonna tell you the hallway saga in a nutshell basically we had brand new carpets put in downstairs about a year and a half ago so all new carpet in the living room and dining room and then new carpet in the downstairs hallway and we had an inbuilt doormat like you know those doormats that kind of fit like a whole big area it's like inbuilt in the floor and we don't 100% know the reason but jay is pretty convinced that basically foxes were spraying on our doorstep and then I was smelling it and spraying back. And she sprayed so badly into that doormat, we couldn't get the smell out. And by the time we realized that she'd been going on it because we couldn't smell it immediately, we had to throw it out. And then she started going on the carpet. Even though we used a urine neutralizer, we carpet shampooed it a million times, used different carpet cleaners, we actually ended up taking up the carpet. So we decided to get laminate flooring. And it took a while for it to get put down, purely just because Jay is always away, like he works away so often and just timings didn't add up with the guy who was doing the floor. So it's taken a long time and we've been living with this grotty underlay for so long, like cleaning it every day because of Ida and keeping her out of the hallway. But still, like, it just felt very grotty and also like Lady was never allowed in the hallway and like, you know, it was just the whole thing, like I was terrified of her, like going in there and like touching something and like getting ill or like you know it's just it's gross like no one wants to live like that like it's just disgusting anyway so we finally got the flooring put in and Jay and I wanted to do like 
just make over the hallway completely um, so we sanded all of the skirting and we glossed the skirting we used dulux eggshell cannot recommend enough if you want to do your skirting because actual gloss is just a nightmare and the eggshell is slightly less of a nightmare and we just painted over the wallpaper just painted it bright white we do tend to paint bright white in a lot of the rooms in our house my main thing for that is so yeah it's bright and it's you know it's a nice clean color but actually it's just the cheapest option like you can buy a big big tub of brilliant white from B&Q for like 20 pounds and that will last you you can do like multiple rooms in your house and then when you have touch-ups which you inevitably will have touch-ups if you live like I don't know we have a toddler and a cat so you know there's always gonna be marks on the wall and you know you can just touch up really easily like it's just the cheapest option and it does look nice so that's why we always go for white if anyone wondered anyway so yeah we gone for bright white all on the wallpaper on the wallpaper downstairs and then had our laminate flooring put in we've got this really nice radiator cover and it just feels so much nicer in there and then we decided to do the upstairs hallway because we did the skirting all the way up the stairs and it just runs nicely so the back wall um, you would have seen when I was painting the walls upstairs jay's painted it taupe or taupe taupe i think it's taupe anyway which is like a really nice browny color which i really like and then yeah i just did the other walls white and it's really feeling really lovely and fresh and i just wanted to share that journey with you because i'm really proud of it and it does feel like this is a big part of my house reset because we've just had so many projects going on and I'm finally coming to the end of the projects and getting ready to decorate for Christmas and just feeling like my house is a home at the moment and it's clean and it's tidy which is just the best feeling. Time for a nighttime bathroom deep clean. I love bleach. Like I'm gonna tell you this a million times. I love bleach. I just think that like yeah you can get all these different products for all these different things and like I used to have honestly so many different bottles and so many different sprays and but bleach kills germs it kills everything and I just love it like I love it raw bleach is the answer for me personally anyway so like sometimes I'll do like bleach and washing up liquid and hot water that's what I use for like the walls and the skirting and like yeah most things but toilet raw bleach guys you need to be raw bleaching your toilets the, and don't forget about the base of the bowl like raw bleach the base of that bowl girl because yeah anyway so i take the toilet seat off to give it a proper deep clean obviously i don't do this every single time because sometimes i don't have time but when i really want to go in with that bleach um I've got to take the toilet seat off. Sorry, I just cringed myself out so hard then. Why did I say that? Can I go in with that bleach? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so basically just bleaching the fuck out of the toilet. Sorry for my language. Um, and yeah, that's that. And then I'm just going to move on to... Oh yeah, so normally I use a cloth. Like I have my toilet cleaning cloth. You know how like you have your cloths for different things. I have my toilet cleaning cloths and they are very specific and they only use in the toilet and then they go on a hot wash on their own with nothing else in the washing machine and go back in the bathroom but I decided to throw them all all the way because every so often I chuck them all out and get new ones and I forgot so I'm using toilet paper and I literally use like a whole roll on cleaning the toilet but that's okay we don't mind we want to be clean so anyway yeah did the toilet obviously so I cleaned like the actual bowl and all around it and the base and everything and then I cleaned the lid the inside and then the outside and then whatever every single surface and then moved on to the sink so I bleached the sink as well and yeah the only other product I think oh there's two other products I use I use the Silip Bang um, black mold remover around the bath like where the um what is it called the sealant is and then bleach inside the bath as well and then I use white vinegar spray on all like the chrome and windows and the shower screen so yeah I hope you enjoy watching me doing a bit of bleaching <laughs> Done this before you fly. I won't get 
Cause you don't know I'm starting Cause you love to have them all crying mm-hmm. Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me Said I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man if she don't love man If she break grass real fast like can run Wanna swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets honestly Can you keep it real cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby don't be shy I can see it in your eyes I've been running around Too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hair I'm from behind I know you stand how you take it no more time Left, right, can you take it all the time when I was about to do the screen so I took that as my sign to have a shower and get into bed and then resumed the next morning oh sorry if you can hear Jay in the background (laughs) he's so funny his energy is amazing um yeah so this is actually today I'm recording this voiceover on the same day that I cleaned the bathroom if that makes sense so uh yeah i resumed doing the screen i used like a sponge scrubbing brush thing and white vinegar spray but i never feel like the shower screen is clean it's still streaky so if anyone's got any recommendations for products and um tools like i don't know certain cloths or scrub things like anything please comment down below because you girl need some help with that damn shower screen. It's honestly the bane of my life at this point. I mean, that's dramatic. It's not the bane of my life. It's really not important. On the grand scheme of things, like, is the shower screen being streaky important when there's all the things that are going on in the world and then all the things that are going on in my life personally and then all the things that are just... Anyway, we don't need to worry too much about the shower screen. Sorry? Am I okay? Can I speak? We don't need to worry too much about the shower screen is what I'm trying to say. I need to just shut up. Anyway, finished cleaning the bathroom, hoovered, mopped, got it all done. And yeah, that's the bathroom looking all clean and lovely.
Hey guys, so I have just been doing like a little tidy again in here. You've already seen it, so. If you ever wonder what it's like living with Jay, that's what it's like. Um, it's a happy place, it's always fun, it's always laughter, and there's always jokes in this house. So yeah, finished the bathroom this morning, did kind of everybody everywhere else, got myself ready, and lays at nursery today. So what I wanted to do is just walk you through the house um, and show you like, I don't know, it's just looking pretty lovely at the moment and I thought I would, for the end of this video, like show you the full reset and I'm now officially ready to start with the Christmas decorations. I'm going to get Jay to get it all down from the loft, I'm going to organise through it, like I'll do a full video, we'll do like a prepping for Christmas video, get back on my schedule. I wanted to apologise because actually... I've now not uploaded two Sundays in a row, but this will be hopefully going up this evening, if not tomorrow morning. So apologies, but yes, I will be back on schedule as I as I was meant to be. Anyway, let's do a little walkthrough and I'll show you and sh I'll show you the cleanliness of my house right now. So we're starting in my bedroom. Don't mind the ladder and these couple of bits because we are going in the loft today. Um, but like down the sides, I've now just got my tripod and we've got rid of all the clutter. So really happy and it's all lovely and clean and hoovered and tidy in here. Lay's room. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the background noise. <laughs> you're so funny. Lay's room is looking all lovely and clean. Clean sheets all ready for this evening. She's got her friends waiting for her. It's always cute in this room. This is my favorite room in the house. I love all the details. I love this. I just think it's absolutely stunning. My mum made this for her. I love that my aloe vera's in here now. Like it's just, oh yeah, this little, um, this was from Dunelm and then this little bear was from an outfit that my auntie bought her. Um, so I kept that, yeah, I just love it in this room, it's so cute. Freshly painted hallway, um, this lampshade now doesn't work. I just think it's not really the right, I don't know, it's not the right colour now for this, for this hallway. So I think we might pick up a new lampshade. Um, I got these frames from The Range. They were $4.49 each and I had a return to do, so I ended up paying just over £7 for the three of them. So I thought that was a really good deal. I got this really sweet photo that Nursery took of Lay a long time ago now, um, but yeah, really sweet. And then I'm going to pop, I've actually printed some Christmas photos of Aya and then two of Laylee to go in here. I've just put some of my favourite books up here and I think that looks really whimsical and sweet, but I love how fresh and white it is in here now. The bathroom, honestly, it smells so good in here. It smells like there's a flora, winter spice. It is just absolutely lovely. So everything is nice and fresh and clean in here. I mean, the shower screen, <laughs> it's quite a streak. But my aim is always not perfect, done. Do you know what I mean? Like we don't have to aim for per perfection, just done. Just bought this little step um, for Lay and then popped this little hook here so she can dry her own hands and she loves it. So that is a really sweet little addition in here. And then coming downstairs, here is my new hallway reveal, guys, honestly. This makes me so happy, like, oh, every time I forget, like, you know when you forget and then you see it and it's just like, oh, oh, I love it. Like, even the fact that we did the skirting in here, I love it. And like, yeah, this radiator cover was from Amazon. Um, just pop some random things that we have around the house. These were, um, the m most recent show Jay was in was about pottery and these was from, the and these are those ones that you paint, but actually we're not going to paint them because they just absolutely fit the vibe. I'm excited to pop a little Christmas pick in here. And then we got this little coat rack for Lay. How sweet. So she can pop her jackets up. She has her nursery bag on the next peg. She's at nursery today. Um, and her little shoe thing. So she's like, I really love like Montessori. Do you know what I mean? So she can kind of like exist in the home like me and Jay do, if that makes sense. And then through on into the playroom, which... My pyjamas on the radiator are ruining the vibe a bit, but it's lovely and clean in here. I put these mats back down. Um, they, they're not the most aesthetic, but they just really help with, I mean, this carpet is just, it's lovely, but it's obviously just gonna get dirty. Like the craziest decision I ever made was to get a white carpet when I have a toddler and a cat. <laughs> Who's Jane Wadley? 
<laughs> Modeling. Everyone really enjoyed your singing, by the way. Oh, no. Yeah, they loved it. Yeah, musical I know they did. They haven't told me yet, but I know they did. Jay's installed this gate for me, which... Um, oh, it's a slot. Jay's installed this gate for me, which is amazing because it just means I can dust and hoover in there, then put this on, play with Lady all day, and when she goes for her nap, I can just come into here, sit down, watch my show, and just enjoy my clean environment. So that is amazing. I showed you the bookcase already, but it's all just looking very like neat in here. I'm really excited to take all this stuff off and put like Christmas stuff, but um, yeah, this has all been like reorganized. Just make it look a little bit neater. We've got a basket for blankets now, which just makes it look a little bit more cozy in here. I'm moving in to the kitchen. I mean, nothing really to see in here. It's just a kitchen, isn't it? Like, there's nothing too interesting in here. Um, but yeah, but I've cleaned out like the microwave and all that kind of thing. And only got a couple bits of washing up. Next thing I wanna do is clean out the washing machine, like put soda crystals in it and stuff. I really hope that you enjoyed this whole house reset and yeah let all the Christmas content commence because from here on in that is what you'll be getting from me and I really hope that is something that you will enjoy please subscribe like if you want to be a part of this community then all you need to do is subscribe and you're in so yeah um, I'm excited for all the Christmas magic and I'm excited to share it with you and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video Bye. Hey, at least I'm breathing. I know it took a while.